Hey guys, so this is a quick video review on Jump Desktop. That's this icon right here. It's to control your PC from far away or your Mac. It's uh, available for your iPad and iPhone. So I'm going to show you how it looks on your iPad. It's going to look the same thing basically on your iPhone. Now, you're going to see me controlling. This is, you don't have to be close to your computer at all. You're going to see me controlling this computer right now. Um, now the computer can be back, let's say in Ecuador. That's how I use it. So this is the first thing that you're going to see. Okay, so it's, I got my MacBook and my USB iMac. It's going to show you only the computers that are um, on at the, and connected to a Wi-Fi at the time. So only these two computers are on right now. I have another one that's back in Ecuador. Um, I'm in Canada right now. And um, that one doesn't appear since nobody's connected up right now. But uh, depending on their... Wi-Fi connection, their internet speed, I can control it. I can usually control it, although their internet speed is quite slow. So that's what I like about this. So we're gonna go into iMac, so you guys can see my iMac is right over there. So I'm just gonna turn it on there. My iMac has two screens. That's the only problem that I see with this app. It's gonna show you something like this, so let's just put, no thanks. Okay, I'm just gonna zoom out. And as you can see, it's showing me the two screens. This is one at two. So over there, one, two, all right? So those are the two screens. If um, I want to control them from here, it is pretty easy. However, um, it's easier actually to control your two screens with your iPad because you can zoom in so easily. Okay, so I could zoom into this screen and control it and see all my stuff there. I can zoom into my other screen that you guys are looking at right now and type something in. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna click here. There we go. And I want my keyboard to show up, so click on keyboard. Okay, so basically as you can see, on your iPad it's pretty easy to follow the two screens. The only problem is when you're doing it from your computer. So I'm going to show you on the computer how it looks, two screens how they look, and how would one screen look. So I'm going to show you that right now. Um, besides that, for your iPad it's really cool. Um, as you can see the two screens are here, you can zoom in, you can click, um, you can do a lot of stuff. You can do anything on your computer, okay? Pretty easy, pretty good. Same thing will be for your iPhone. So I'm just gonna close it right now. Okay, and there are my two screens right now. What I'm gonna show you is how that looks on your PC or your Mac, okay? So let's say you wanna do that from this computer, okay? So I'm gonna open that up. So jump desktop. Okay, so it's gonna show me my iMac, which is available right now. I'm gonna bring this a little bit closer for you guys to see. I wanna close this thing so I don't have them back. Okay, as you can see, I'm gonna bring this back again. I can see my two screens again. However, with the zooming in here, okay, when I want to zoom in, if I want to drag my fingers like this on the keypad and zoom in, I can't. Okay, so that function doesn't work um, for zooming in. You literally have to go to view and zoom in. Okay, or the shortcuts. Okay, the, the shortcuts are pretty easy. Um, so you could zoom in like that. However, now let's say I zoomed in a lot. Okay, to see what I'm seeing in my other computer. The only problem is the two screens. If you only have one screen, you're controlling a computer with one, one screen, this works perfect. But with two screens, if you want to move, you have to get kind of used to it. Um, well, let's say I want to move on top. And look at this screen over there. Then on the right side, you 
is what I get. Okay, I'm going to move back here and try to move this around. So let's say I want to move this around. As you can see it's not laggy, not too laggy I should say. It's a little bit laggy, but that's what you can expect with these programs. They're not perfect. I'm going to zoom out. Now this zooming out and everything, it, it's the part that I don't like about this program. Everything else I, very, I like a lot. What I always do always is change the quality to very high. That's something that I always do, even on my iPad, and it stays like that. So, let's go ahead. Let's say I want to move this screen to that screen over there. That's what it's going to look like. Now, let's say I want to move it back. Go. Just gonna move it around so you can see the lagginess that it has. But it's okay if you want to work on it. It's all right. Um, so that's the only problem that I see with this is only the zooming and zoom out. You can't choose whether you want to just handle this screen or that screen. You have to handle both at the same time. You can only zoom in so much. So compared to other programs out there, um, other programs let you choose which screen. Uh, this one just has the double screen but if you want to control just one screen it looks great and it's really easy so I'm gonna close this up and I'm gonna show you that okay now in order for you to control other computers all they have to do is download the program they don't need to pay for it okay they just need to download this icon up here I'm gonna show you that a little bit better in a second how you can see the icons and everything um, but it's really simple I just have these programs um, Google open right now and uh, my iPhoto so you guys can see how I control stuff but yeah you're gonna see that right now so here's jump desktop I'm gonna open it up on my iMac I'm gonna control my right here my MacBook okay I'm assuming most of you, the only other downside is that you have to buy both. You have to buy the, the Mac version or PC version and the iPad version. You can't just buy one and get the other one just because you bought one. However, comparing prices to other ones such as Log Me In, which is the most popular one out there right now. Um, although they do give you a free trial, that these guys also give you a free trial. Um, the bad thing is... Well, the good thing is about this that it comes out to be cheaper than Log Me In since Log Me In charges you so much uh, um, an annual fee or monthly fee to use their program, and these guys just one time fee. So, so that's why it's worth it. That's why I looked for another one, and um, that's why I think this one's worth it for sure. Now, you guys will see um, this a little bit better in a second. I just want to show you. Um, how it looks like. Now you're gonna see my mouse here and my mouse, mouse over there. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go and open something up from there. So let's say I go out here. Okay. And I get these options. I'm gonna open something up. There you go. Let me see if I can. Okay. So there's, uh, there's that. I'm gonna move it over here. So as you can see, if it's one screen like my my MacBook, okay, I just have one screen hooked up to my MacBook. Um, this works ideally. Um, I'm typing hello again. Okay, so this works ideally. Um, this Google right now that I have right here, it's from my MacBook. Okay, so you can see a little bit of the lag here, and the other one not so much. However, not too much lag. Let's say I go on to YouTube. Okay. Now the reasons why I've used this is basically okay, not able to click on this. Um, for emergency projects, I'm at home and. Uh, I'm somewhere else and uh, um, I need to control my computer from home to get some files or do something uh, so just make a website and I can only do it from home then this this is what's wrong with it um, let's just go to this video so 
as you can see that that's how you're gonna look um, I think videos are the best way to see that's where you're gonna see the most lag or uh, issues with sound or anything like that so that's how it looks like I'm gonna show you a little glimpse in a second of how everything else looks like other than that I really like this program it works really well as you can see for your iPad it looks really nice and slick I'm gonna show you another view in one second which is gonna be right now So this is how Job Desktop will look on your iPhone. I'm gonna open it up. Sorry about the shaky video guys, I'm gonna try to keep it as good as possible. Now my MacBook Pro is off right now. So it's just gonna show you, you my iMac, here's my MacBook Pro. Anyways, I'm gonna click on user iMac. Okay, now the blurriness, I'm gonna try to fix that since the program is not blurry at all. Okay, now I'm controlling my iMac. Okay. I'm gonna zoom out so you guys can see my two screens on my iMac. That's how small they look like. I'm gonna put it sideways. So you might end up controlling your iMac sideways. Now it's 27 inch so and that display is pretty high quality. I'm gonna put it on retina display okay I have it on that just in case. Now that's how it looks like zoomed out. Now I'm gonna open some stuff up so you guys can see. Obviously that's very small so I would have to zoom in if I wanted to see something and exactly what I wanted to open. So once again I'm gonna open Safari. Now, on my back, that's actually my iMac, okay, so that's my iMac. Now you guys can barely see my iMac, I know that. What I'm gonna do is scroll here, so you guys can see that I'm clicking, see right there? I'm clicking Microsoft Word, Microsoft Word. So let's just go up. Drag this along, zoom in to try to control it, let's click on it, keyboard, type in hello again, enter that, now we want to hide the keyboard, zoom out, zoom in again, okay, so basic functions for your to control your iMac are those as you can see it looks pretty neat I have to say the quality once you change it up it's nice um, if the other person doesn't have high-speed internet don't worry about it I control computers overseas all the time it would work fine okay now you can also add gestures okay you can also customize some of the stuff so you guys can scroll up and down for example see this I'm scrolling up and down okay so some stuff like that is pretty cool about the app now here's the other screen now I do have to say I do like the, the fact that you can control the other screen um, what I don't like that much is the dragging it's not perfect but it's pretty good um, so here it is that's what it looks like okay um, other than that guys, I would highly recommend this app, looks pretty sleek, I use it all the time just because I'm making, constantly making videos for you guys and uh, I'm uploading them to YouTube, I have to see in what stage they are so I just leave my computers on and I just go let's say to outside somewhere and I just want to turn them off, I can turn off my computer from here just by going here and turn it off see right there which I'm not gonna do right now since I need my computer on but uh, once it's off you can't control it you can't turn it on okay so I'm gonna disconnect from it so you can see here I have my MacBook Pro so if I click on it it's not like I can turn it on 
okay it's not online so it's impossible for me to turn it on um, it would have to be on sleep mode or something like that and then I can turn it kind of on right um, that's what I like about this app it's been working really well because I usually make my screen um, just disconnect turn off basically when I'm not using it so my screen from my iMac turns off all the time when I'm not using it and once I click on this my screen will turn on okay so that's something that I like about this app okay other than that it's been working really well if you guys have any comments questions problems with it just uh, hit me up with questions down here below in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you guys